Today we're going to start something I've been looking forward to for a while. We're going to be taking on the Highway Challenge. Hello there, Mastelish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play, where recently I've been working on the uh, goods out for our factory challenge. Now, last time I started this new line, it comes all the way down to London. It's not a four track line, it's actually two, two track lines. You can see that the signals here go up, down, up, down which is not normal. Normally it's up, up, down, down. So uh, it's just the way that it worked out. I have no idea why I did it. It must be to do with this weird and wonderful station that I invented last time. And um, I'm just, uh, I've just been, you can see here where I've pulled out the old line, that brown bit there. And over here we've got some depots. We've also got depots at either end. And I'm just putting some more depots in just here we're just finishing that off and then we'll be cracking on with some more of today's main things now here we've got a problem where we've got uh, to change the land height so i'm just going to unpause the game for a moment i think we had one of these trains stop just a second ago so it does slow things down or it can hang on a minute oh, i didn't want trains to start entering this block please wait um don't come in there brilliant so yeah uh, we can, in fact, we can just like block you off there. Actually, it doesn't matter. There we are. Pause the game again, and let's just remove pretty much all of this track <laughs> because um, we're going to be changing the land height. So let's just go like this. That should help. We need to come six out, and then we're going to come in. Yeah, that train needs to get out of the way. Come on, shift out of the way. Keep going. Yeah, that might do. That might well do. So A for auto tool, R for remove, and then we'll use E just to peel back that um, hillside. So if I remember correctly, these ones hook up there. That comes out six, comes in. Now I'm using this bit as length six because that's the length of my trains. That's why that's like that. Okay, no, one more. These ones are going on the inside, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Okay, and that means now I need to do the tunnels for the rest. Oh, have I done this right? Oh, I haven't done it right. I haven't left enough room. Look, there needs to be enough room for me to be able to put a tunnel in here before this comes out. And we've got old signals in the way. That's one of the first things I should really do is remove the signals in this area before you start working on it. Um, you see, look, this bit here now is only five in length, so we need to get rid of all that, get rid of all that. It's all very wrong. Right, hang on a minute. I'll get this right, and then we'll crack on. Right, there we go. I've fixed it now so it's the right length. So now we just need to make the divots in the middle that allow for all these tunnels to happen. And... What's happening with the land height there? Oh, it's higher up than it should be. Okay. Maybe that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Uh, there we go. Get those tunnels in. Connect them up. And they should be able to just go down and under there. No problem. Completely missing all the depots. There we go. Okay, so that's all connected up. That looks good. So now we've just got to get this up here. And I've made a bit of a mess of it. So let's level that out. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, signal time. So what we've got here now is we've got two double depots. One for each side. And they are... Um, they're force depots as well, so trains will only come off the main line and use them if they really need to. So this one is an entrance, so we'll put a one before there, and we'll also put one there and one there. We'll also put one or a couple down the line like that. Well, no, not, we won't get that, we won't have that one. 
And for going north, it's the same problem. Uh, though this train looks like it's facing the wrong way. I have no idea why. <laughs> it is it's having problems. It's having an identity crisis, whether it's northbound or southbound. But there we go. And then this one on the outside here should just be fine. So we'll just put signals before each of the tunnels. And we'll do this one. Is that one definitely going the right way, though? Looks like it. Okay, let's unpause the game so we can see the trains moving in the right direction. Of course, we've got a train that's lost because it got turned around. We don't mind that. Because it will just turn around and then be fine again. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Right, there we are then. So we've already got a train using one of the depots. We've got a train choosing not to here. Again, a train choosing not to use one of the depots. I think ideally we might need a signal before the depot as well, just to allow for another train to come off the main line and, uh, and wait. Now, I don't think I did that on these depots. I didn't. So we'll do that now, and we'll also get it in the right direction. So these ones are coming in that way. That one's... Um, yep, yeah, that one is going north. Oh my goodness. Having these, having these going in the different direction to what I'm used to is really baking my noodle. Really is. But it looks like we've got everything sorted here now. One on the way in, one on the way in. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Yep, there we go. Look, we've got a train coming off the main line, coming into service, and we've got another train going underneath it. Just happened to bro break down, but never mind. Okay, so that's that line definitely finished. You can see that the um, old line is already disappearing. I also got rid of a bit of a weird kink in the main line. Uh, it was seen to be there for no reason whatsoever, so I just got rid of it. Um, now we've got the money to amend these sorts of things. Uh, also, we've got a couple of um, depots on the main line. Again extra signal going into the depot I think just in case and there's one down here as well so they're going to start creeping up all over the place now I can see that goods out is top of the list for oh yeah we've oh we've got a train that's broken down so that's that's what's causing the slowdown there and we've got one that's lost here by the looks of it trying to get to London North well, you should be able to get to London North. It just goes straight down this main line. Okay, if a train's doing that, we have a problem. Let's have a look. So coming down this line, we can split off. Yep, that's fine. That's... Yep, that's fine as well. All these signals are facing the right way. We've even got a train here going down the line the right way. Is it the... Yeah, it's the external line they're trying to go down. So maybe I made a mistake here. That looks okay. They're all facing the right way. That goes under there. And then carries on down to London. What? I... Ah. Uh. There it is. One signal the wrong way round. And it's causing the entire lot to have a problem. So if we unpause it now briefly. This train should be sorted next time it comes through and turns around we've got some ships with some negative profit but i don't mind at the minute because they're providing goods and a lot of it okay trains are coming in fantastically right that did fix that problem uh, i think i actually got one of the comments uh, mentioned in that and i'm sorry that i don't remember who you were but thank you very much for your comment on that um we're going to clone some of these um trains now and I'm going to do it here this is the closest northbound depot I think we have because these ones are south only so we'll clone these trains and we've got lots and lots of goods waiting so let's let's get that and we've got now we've got 200 trains we spent a lot of money okay fantastic 2,000 crates of goods. Hopefully shifting all these goods will make us loads of money. Um, these trains have had quite a lot of disruption recently, so I don't expect their profits to be really that good. Uh, we don't want to look at the trains from that group. We want to look at the trains from this group. So 71, 70-something, ignoring some of the others because they might be new. So yeah, we're looking between like 70 and 80,000 
a year, which I think should increase because we've got a good flow on the goods out. Now the coal hub pickups, again, ideally we need more trains on that loop line. Um, yeah, we, we just need more trains on the loop line. And also we could do with buying a power station up here at the north uh, coal round here. Um, because at the minute we're transferring it with trucks and that's not really ideal so we'll do that soon but like I said earlier on in the episode we're gonna start the highway challenge so here's the high um, the Highland Highway Challenge and the, the challenge is basically to connect um, some towns up here towards the the north maybe it's somewhere near this estuary near Inverness uh, with some of these towns somewhere in the south maybe you want to do I don't know actually Glasgow or or any of these round here there's quite a few and I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet and it's probably going to cost quite a lot of money which is one of the reasons why I've been putting it off for now what I'm thinking is is that we're going to go straight down from Inverness straight through and we're going to do a mixture of bridges tunnels and land leveling and we're going to use a combination of that to get two roads all the way down here and then we'll connect it up to a town. I think Inverness is probably the best place to start and then we'll see how it goes. So we are going to go up um, a few. Now what? I wonder what height difference like the middle is compared to the here. Let's, let's measure that. So you can find out the height difference by getting road or track and starting where one height is and just bring it down to roughly where you want to measure it to and you can see here it says the height difference is a hundred well, 1050 meters now if i remember correctly it's 50 for each increment so the height difference of a thousand well 100 would be two so it's 20 you've got to go up 20 to get to the peaks of the highlands right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go up like eight and we're going to start our highway now i've got an extra macro key um sorted out on my system it's shift a to bring up the road auto tool and just a brings up the rail auto tool which is really nice we're going to start here in this gap and we're not going to actually connect it to inverness just yet now this road is going to cost us a lot of maintenance and it's going to cost us a lot to build but overall if you look at our operating profit graph we're doing quite well now one of the things we actually need is we actually need more trains on the main line because if you look at sta stations like Newark we've got a lot of well, why did that train go straight through there because we've got loads of passengers from London North and I have no idea where they need to go oh well never mind it's going to Doncaster you're trying to get to Doncaster? We London North. What? That's not right. There's some problems with the orders here on the main line. It should go London North. Then it should go Stevenage. Or did I split this up? I don't think I did. Then it should go to Peterborough. Then we should go to Doncaster. No, wait. Then we should go to Newark. Then we should go to Doncaster. Yep. Yeah. Then York. Yes. Back to Doncaster. And then back to all the others. We're missing a load of orders. Why? Seems a bit odd. Did I actually specifically ask them to go to certain places? I don't know. Why Stevenage not growing on the other side of the town? Again, I don't know. Well, how much are these um, trains making that are coming through Stevenage and stuff? Let's have a look. So we've got loads of passenger trains with some mail. Okay, they're making good money. So why are they not going the right way? not sure okay we'll have to revisit that shortly and Thailand challenge yes so we've measured the height difference and we got our road 
and we're going to keep it nice and even and we're going to leave a length of two between each incline so we're going to have to do that it cost us four grand but we'll be all right and again here two oops I didn't mean to go up that bit there because this bit here is a bit of a funny shape it's probably better if we did that now how many have we gone up we've gone up one two three four so we're gonna keep going up for a while uh, here we'll cut that bit back that's the cheaper option that makes five so we need to go up eight in total but this little nubbin we'll get rid of that And then what we got here. Now, if it's a big gap, we'll use a bridge. But if it's just a tiny gap like that, we'll just fill it in. Okay. So I think so far we've only still gone up. Let, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five of eight. Now here, it goes up and goes a bit crazy. No, it's not actually that bad. It just looks it. So if we do this, yeah, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we're going to be going up a bit more, but we've got a dip here. This is where I'm going to introduce bridges. We're going to actually make the road face the correct way around. There we go. Okay, bridge. So we're going to bridge from, wait for it, here to there. Ah, it went up. Don't want it to do that. I want it to be level, so we're going to have to just nick that bit off there. Right, height difference. Okay, I think I just need to level that bit to be able to put that bridge in nicely. Bridge height's not at the same level? What? Oh, there we go. Now, this is for road vehicles. Although later we have got the hover buses mod. So let's choose that one there we go and this will allow our road vehicles to go a bit faster here we still need to go up a little bit so one two three four five sorry i keep forgetting folks one two three four five six so we need to go up two more so we'll go up here that's seven and then we'll go up here we're going to have to dig into the hill to get that next bit to go up there we go. But now, this is where I'm proposing a tunnel. I think it's going to be a massive tunnel. 85 in length. Or 84 in length. How much would that cost? Hold in shift. 2.1 million. Mm, no. No. <laughs> That is not viable at this stage of the game. This is why I've been putting off the Highland Challenge for so long. There's been a few people in the comments that have been like, why aren't you doing Scotland? This is why. I haven't got the money. Um, we've got... What options we have? We, we can either divide the tunnel up so it's cheaper section by section, but still would have to have lots of tunnels so it still costs a lot of money. Um, we could go up the land, which I don't want to just keep going up and then keep going down again. We could build a we could dig the land out carve the land which again i don't really want to do hmm maybe we do need to go up just a little bit more rather than just eight i think we do i think it's going to make a big difference we'll go up 10 okay let's let's do a little bit of carving to get us up to 10 and we'll see how much that makes a difference in the price what was it 2.6 2. .6, 2. something what if we did tunnels now? How much would it be? 1.6, 1.5. Yeah, that's if I remember prices correctly, that's taken about a million off, and I'm almost tempted just to do a little bit more. 
But you know what? We won't. We'll save up the money and we'll buy the big silly tunnels. So we've started the highway there. We've got a good idea about how we're laying it out, where it's going from and to. We need more money. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the game run and we're going to check everything in our network and look for small cheap improvements. So looking at the list, Coal Hub North drop off, that, that needs to shift more stuff. We probably need a few more road vehicles. Okay, now they don't cost too much. They're about 13 grand each, which, yeah, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive compared to a massive multi-million pound tunnel. And remember, we're going to need two of those tunnels. Um, these Exeter um, stations are doing okay. And Exeter seems to be growing quite well. Now, can we start, can we afford new buildings? Yeah, but it's a lot of money. Goods out. Still having problems. Well, I say having problems. We're just short on a few trains. Uh, oh, and it looks like the new trains I added... I don't know where I added them, but let's clone these trains out. And we've got a ship that's lost, so let's deal with that ship. Ship 7 is one of the ones that's lost. Okay, ship 7... What are you trying to do? That's quite a set of orders you've got there. So you've got this oil field. You're going from Sheringham to Holt. Well, it complained it was lost, I think, just before it hit Sheringham. I mean, it shouldn't really get lost. Uh, we'll ignore it for now, see if it helps. See if it sorts itself out, I should say. Okay, goods out. Still got way too many crates of goods. What's our production like now? 1,320. That's fantastic. Um, let's check down here. Just see how we're going with the um, pickup factories. Uh, picked up pickup stations. Yeah, we're looking all right there. How are we doing here? We really just got one train for that little journey. No, there was another one in the depot. <laughs> okay, cool. I thought it'd be weird that I did one there. Um, it's quite a lot of quite a, a lot of iron ore just round here. Look at this: four iron ore mines on the same screen. Maybe we need to do a little iron ore hub here and bring that in to the whole. Oh, hang on, we'd need to convert it to steel. I'm sure we could do that somewhere around here. I mean, it's more iron ore there. There's iron ore everywhere. Oh well. Uh, goods out is looking a bit better now. We've sent a few trains to it. We've also got a long line of trains just about returning. So when I did the upgrades to that line, it held up the trains a little bit. They backed up a little bit. And now that backup that was on its way south is on its way back north again. So hopefully, goods out should now get full of loading trains. Uh, the rest of the network's looking good. Canterbury Mines, apparently got a bit of stuff waiting at it so let's increase the vehicle we've only got one vehicle doing that journey so let's clone that out so that we've got three percent transported is only 50 percent that's not good percent transported 62 so we need more there and oh it looks like this coal mine has shut down that's a shame. So, yep, yeah, look at them. They're doing terrible. Send them to the depot. We're going to shut this part of the line uh, of the network down. Is there any new coal mines around here? So we've got these three. That one and this one. There's one down here. I guess we could hook that in. It's 30 tonnes. Ship 16 is lost and it's just set off. So where's it? Where's it going to? Oh, it's going straight there. Okay, let's let's change the orders then. So before this, we'll put a boy here. Uh, brand new. Actually, we'll do two. One there and one there. And we'll say go to this one. Then go to that one. Can't see it. There we go. 
then hopefully it can get to the docks and after you've been to the docks come back to the boy I wish ships were just that little bit better at their pathing I understand it's a different situation right there we go goods out is slowly going down the list looks like the trains are filtering through to the platforms that they wish to go to no problem so the good thing about this design that I've done here let me explain this before we go back to the high island challenge because we've got some good money now is that if a train is coming in down this line it will favor it will prefer one of these four platforms it won't cross over to the right hand side and if a train's coming down this line it should favor one of these four platforms it won't cross to the left so you can see this one just went straight on if that platform's not available it'll turn left uh, if one coming this way is not available turn right we could kind of artificially test that by stopping trains in the um, in the station itself uh, I think we still might need a few more oh we've got a new oil tanker invented I'm not interested right now I'm busy thank you um, we're going to need a few more trains still I think so we're just waiting for this come on out you come there we are three more trains we can afford it We'll pause the game and let's now go back to the Highland Challenge because we've made some money and I think we're about ready for these tunnels. So let's check road tunnel and how much is it going to cost? 1.6 million for that one and 1.5. So we'll do the 1.5 first and then the 1.5 five there there we go or 1.6 so that goes right under that hill and we come out here so we'll do a tiny bit of landscaping and then i think we'll have a bridge we've got 1.2 million still at the moment there we are and then we'll bridge across to the other side so that says down by 100 oh, okay so we need to go higher Ooh, okay. Um, I think we might go down a bit because this peak is a little too low. Or we could bring the peak up. We've done a little bit of carving. We could do a little bit of um, upping. Let's uh, let's try now. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then we'll do the same across here. Now, we can't have the cantilever because it's much further. And I just need to do this to the land. There we go. So we've got a big tunnel, bit of road. Now here, it goes down. But I think it only goes down a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of land elevation to there. Let's see, land height difference. I think this bit's the level. Maybe a bridge across here. Yep, there we go. Now these ones aren't the cantilever, so actually what we'll do is we'll extend the little bits of land just enough so that we can have the same type of bridge in. What? Oh, there we go. So that still requires a suspension bridge. Let's bring it out just another notch that way and another notch that way. And we'll see how it goes. Still a... Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep notching it out until it's no longer a suspension bridge. Oh, we don't want the console. <laughs> the console can be useful sometimes. And if you want to know more about the console... I suggest you check out the wiki because there's all the commands on there and yeah. Still a suspension bridge. I mean we've got this one in. Surely it must be nearly must be nearly the right distance. Yeah we go. That's a train one. I miss <laughs> why am I putting train ones in? It's ridiculous. Now the weird thing here, and I don't know I don't know why they haven't fixed this. But the road bridges, the images of the trains, and it's been like that. I can't remember 
how long it's been like that but it's been like that for as long as i've noticed it and i can remember i don't actually remember it being right there we go so we've got a bit of road a bit of bridge a bit of road a big tunnel now we're probably going to have a big tunnel here again so <laughs> we might have to then continue next time and see where we can get this tunnel to but it looks like we can go up to here there we go right so on the highland challenge high Hi highway highland the highland highway challenge there we go we have managed to get almost pretty much to the center okay and it's cost us about four or five million <laughs> And I don't mind that, because it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty nice. Now, we have to think about coming down again. And these kind of rifts in the hillside here should be quite easy to bridge and tunnel through, I think. Should. And we'll find out next time we, when we do a little bit more. I'm going to keep a close eye on goods out. We need to make sure that we're shifting all of these goods. The amount of goods transported did drop a little bit. And I don't know why. Where's Hole Beach? There's Hole Beach. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the local authority and we're going to build a statue of the company owner. Because hopefully then that will improve the ratings. The ratings are currently 71% good. Let's just let the game run a little bit and see how that goes. I'm also going to be keeping an, an eye on the stations here. So 71, is it going to go up? doesn't look like the statue is really oh no 72 so maybe it is working it doesn't happen with 10 percent just like that building a statue in the town gives you 10 percent boost it's a flat 10 percent it's always there once you put it in you get it and it looks like it's working because we went from i think 71 72 now 74 so if this hits 75 very quickly come on Come on, we, there, there, there it is. Okay, so our ratings are going up nicely. The better the ratings, the more goods we get out of it as well. Just something I've noticed, actually, is the steel hub out is starting to fill up a little bit. So I'm going to pop a couple of extra t trains on there. We've got the money for it. So in they go. This is getting quite busy now, and we haven't even done the other steel network. So we've got this line that connects up all of these and of course these are all starting to increase production now so this station is getting very busy um, and also we're bringing iron ore from these two mines that one's only got 96 percent transported so just in an effort to try and make that a little bit better we'll throw two more trucks at it and this one that one's doing 78 so that's all right i'm not going to throw another train at that yet there used to be another one another mine along here and there's also that one, but I don't really want to go through the hills for that. But yes, I think soon, very soon, we're going to be looking at hooking up these three. So we'll put a station in here for collection. And then any other iron ore mines, so these two, that one, and any others in this area. I think that's probably it, to be honest. So that's five six that's six in this area how many do we have up here one two three four five six seven okay so we've got seven connected up here and we'll have six connected down here and they'll all be coming into the same steel mill so it might be that this steel line where has it gone where are we now we're here so there's the steel line it comes um kind of slightly down but then across the country uh, may need an upgrade because we're going to have so many trains snaking through it these depots are probably not going to be good enough to keep up with that look you've got a steel train using the depot that's going to block the line up uh, and that is going to be something that's going to happen quite soon probably after the highland challenge has been connected up and then i want to get birmingham and manchester on the passenger network as well let's see how well our passenger service is doing so the trains going through peterborough uh, they're making good money no doubt about that they are making good money even though we've got cargo distribution so it sounds really good right there we go things are going well uh we'll leave it there for now so thank you very much for watching it's been a little bit of a long episode but a few of you have been asking for longer episodes if you're here at the end you've obviously watched it all so let me know down in the comments that you watched it all and whether you thought it was too long uh, but that's all from me for now. Remember my website, masterhellish.net, for all the information about my streams, news, live streams, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, giveaways as well. And if you want to support the channel, wait! 
the Hellish Ink t-shirt is now available <laughs> at hellishstore.net. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>